Hey YouTubers, thanks for checking out the video today. Uh, today's lure review is going to be on the Mega Bass uh, Edo Shiner. This particular bait uh, has been named after the founder of Mega Bass, uh, Mr. Yuki Edo. Uh, Mega Bass is a Japanese brand um, and Yuki Edo did um, start the company in the mid 1980s. Uh, he started it in his garage and he was able to build a, um, a massive um, a massive empire really and, and, and some phenomenal products. Uh, that work real well. So they've got absolutely standout lures. Mega Bass is a, a premium brand and they just make quality products. So everything from lures through to rods, reels, lines. Um, expensive brand, okay, to say the least. Real expensive brand actually. But um, yeah, the, the, the quality is there and the design is there. You can somewhat see it when you look at other baits and you try to compare it with this particular bait. You can sort of see as to why um, um, the uh, Mega Bass in themselves have, uh, can, can charge what they really want to charge because it's, it, it, it's up there in price, guys. It's actually, actually, let me find out. On Tackle Warehouse, it is $25.99 uh, US dollars uh, for an Edo Shiner. So, um, yeah, it's 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 a premium brand, guys. First of all, let's start off uh, with the physical aspects of it. This bait has been compared very much to the uh, Vision One Ten, which is uh, Mega Bass's other standout rip bait. Okay, because they're both forms of rip baits, uh, they do get compared uh, quite a lot. They. Uh, this particular model here, uh, the Edo Shiner, is a little bit longer than the Vision One Ten. Um, let's see. It's approximately four and a half inches there, which is what's that about? Um, about uh, 100 and say 13 millimeters, 113 millimeters, about. Okay, from its tail uh, to uh, the front of its um, nose there, pretty much. Now, where it differs from the Vision 110 is that um, these here are number four Katsuage hooks as opposed to number six on the 110. This here has number four, so they are larger hooks. They still use the Katsuage uh, out barbed hooks. So if I can give you a demonstration here, the barbs actually twist out that way as opposed to inwards. Now whether or not that sticks um, uh, fish more and holds you know, holds the fish there. Uh, I really don't know. Um, I, I really couldn't care less because these hooks are real, real sticky. Now, sticky as in like these are some of the sharpest hooks that I've ever, ever, ever found, used, you name it. Real, real sharp hooks. So if you're going for, you know, lighter fish um, and, and you're not so worried about straightening out the hooks, then stick with these. I will say another thing, but online, you know, you hear a lot of things about these particular hooks um, being unreliable in, in the sense where a lot of species or a big enough fish are going to straighten out the hooks, and that's absolutely true. I've caught um, many fish on both this bait, a lot of fish on the Vision 110, and I can tell you that, um, you know, it, it does, the, the hooks, standard hooks hold up well, but... If you want to be really safe, um, I don't recommend keeping these hooks. I recommend uh, upgrading them into maybe some Gamakatsus or Owners or, or VMCs or whatever you want to use. Um, yeah, you know, out of the packet, I don't want to waste hooks. I like to use these ones and, and see how you go. But if you are going to specifically target a more heavier style fish, please replace the uh, hooks. All right, so physically, guys, how this uh, bait differs to the uh, Vision 110 is that it has three tungsten ball bearings uh, in its weight transfer system. Now, what the weight transfer system means is that uh, when it's in the water, all the uh, three ball bearings should be about one, two, three here, and um, it should be more head heavy, meaning that it's gonna wanna tilt like that, okay? When it, you're about to cast it, and listen to this, guys. Those balls have just fallen because there's a track here that falls like that, so those ball bearings will fall to the tail end. The reason why you do that is as you're casting it, you throw it and go woof like that, it's going to be tail heavy this time, meaning that the tail is gonna wanna uh, lead the direction because that's where the weight is, 
and it's going to give it more um, casting distance. Um, they claim that this particular bait will cast further than the um, uh, the Vision 110, which is true. It does actually uh, cast a little bit further. It does have a fatter profile. It is a fatter bait than the Vision um, 110, so it's yeah, it does cast a bit further. I, I'd have to say it does, but um, yeah, there you go. It's where the three tungsten ball bearing really, like ball bearings, really come into play. I, I feel um, along with uh, with a, you know with the combination of this particular lip is its action, and where it differs to the Vision 110, uh, the regular Vision 110, is that it's got more of an erratic and violent. Um, uh, side to side action. So, as it darts side to side, as you rip it, it's going to want to rip. It's going to want to actually go up in a way and then go down, but rip on an angle. And it moves side uh, side to side um, a lot more than the Vision 110. Now, Mega Bass claims it, 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 it'll move side to side about 30% more, but. Um, yeah, I, I haven't measured it in the water, so I really don't know. But uh, I'd have to say it really does, um, yeah, dart further side to side like so, guys. Um, yeah, but um, let's talk about the physical aspects. So three tungsten ball bearings for the weight transfer system. Let's have a listen to it. Just hold up all the hooks so you're not hearing the uh, hooks and split rings. It sounds almost like it's just the tungsten ball bearings that are that are working in there. It does sound like there's a couple of uh, rattles up here as well uh, working. Now, with its design itself, is it is a little bit, like I said before, a little bit fatter. It does have a larger uh, profile, a taller profile um, than your um, uh, Vision 110. This is certainly more of a, uh, it's called the Shiner because it's more of a Shiner uh, uh, profile than it is a Minnow. Alright guys, so that's that's the theory behind it, that's what I've read up on it. Um, one thing that I am very impressed about is that if you have a closer look here, now on the angle of the video, I'm not too sure how well you can see that, it's actually a cupped lip cupped meaning that it's been cut out this way okay it's been designed with a well a cup now what that does is because you're ripping um, this rip bait through the water uh, and your line is tied here um, this sort of somewhat dictates how this bait is going to rip side to side and with it being cupped I think it sometimes wants to naturally swing that way because as water pushes in it's going to want to either you know, go go either side to side that way. It's got a really uh, erratic action, and there's no doubt that um, that particular uh, lip helps out with that action. All right, guys. So enough uh, talk about this particular uh, bait. It is the uh, uh, Wagen IU or Wagen IU uh, color. It's an awesome color. It's uh, uh, silver, uh, gold, uh, black back. It does have your uh, 3D uh, 3D mouth design. It's also got your, th uh, it's even got nostrils there as well. 3D eyes, uh, 3D uh, raised gill plates with a lot of detail as well, guys. A lot of times you get uh, raised gill plates, you get, you know, raised gill plates. Pretty much you see it raised from there to there. But, like, there's actual, like, real design in these gill plates here. And you can see the different levels of intricacy really involved in it now with this particular bait it's also got etched uh, scales all along uh, here above the lateral line uh, if you can somewhat see that lateral line there here we go there's the back of the lateral line and there's more the front it does angle down more here um, it's all etched scales uh, cut this way and this way on top there and then these lines that are pretty much if you can see vertical uh, vertical but on a bit of an angle this way like you see on, on on a lot of baits okay so real detail within the bait um it does say if you can read that yuki eater 2004 Edo shiner half ounce bit of information on the bait there all right guys let's get straight to it um i'm going to show you now a um some more some underwater footage of um this bait um with different types of retrieves 
uh, under the water you're going to be able to hear what it sounds like as well i won't be playing music during this guys if you like the video please click like if there's anything that i could do better for you uh to help you uh, out more guys uh to get more of an understanding so i can improve so um yeah pretty much give you guys more information uh please let me know in the comments below um but yeah i really appreciate your time and um you know get out there um get to fishing um keep keep what we we love up and um yeah click click like if you like it and stick around guys and support the channel if you want to see more videos all right appreciate it. i'll see you next time bye